Hello everybody. Today let us study another very very important uh, topic for extension of self life of either the fresh produce or the processed food products where biological processes are likely to continue or even chemical process like oxidation etc may take place after uh, processing in the product so for uh, the packaging and self life extraction of such products a, a very useful technology is modified atmosphere packaging so today we will discuss about the basics principles or application aspects of modified atmosphere packaging in the earlier class we discussed about the respiratory behavior of fresh produces and we have seen that the different commodities different fresh produces have different metabolic activities and therefore they have different respiration rates so it is very important that a proper combination of oxygen which is normally lowered and carbon dioxide which is increased and this proper combination of oxygen and carbon dioxide concentration in the storage atmosphere or inside the package is necessary or it should be maintained in order to allow the commodity to respire aerobically but at a minimum possible rate that is important mind it if aerobic respiration stops the commodity will respire anaerobically and it will spoil soon so the aerobic respiration of such produces is important during storage so the minimum o2 or maximum co2 concentration is required to be maintained and this required o2 and co2 concentrations for the minimum respiration rate may differ or may vary from commodity to commodity even the different varieties of the same commodity might need different o2 co2 combinations for its minimum respiration rate in this slide i have just tried to give you uh, the minimum o2 tolerance limit or maximum co2 tolerance limit for some important fruits and this minimum o2 tolerance limit or minimum oxygen tolerated by different fruits ranges from even 0.5% to as high as 5% concentration the maximum carbon dioxide gas tolerated by the fruits important fruits may vary from 2 to as high as 15% like some of the apples like golden delicious apricot grape olive pear etc their maximum co2 tolerance is 2% whereas the fruits like strawberry raspberry blackberry cherry and fig they can tolerate maximum carbon dioxide into storage atmosphere or inside the package as high as 15% similarly the minimum oxygen the tree nuts and dried fruits they can tolerate oxygen as low as 0.5 and the citrus fruits mango etc they may be stable or they can tolerate up to 5% oxygen so this aspect that is the their tolerance limit minimum o2 and maximum co2 as well as other even some chemical processes etc like oxidation and all those things they are used they are manipulated for the advantage in this processing like 
so the concept of the modified atmosphere packaging is the modification of the head space gases in a package in order to prolong the shelf life of the product as you can see in this picture right it is a technique used to lengthen the shelf life of processed food products or fresh produced and the composition of the air surrounding the food in the package is modified to reduce the rate of ongoing biological or physiological processes in the food as i told you map is commonly used for packaging of fruits vegetable meat fish etc for packaging of cut fruits and vegetables equilibrium modified atmosphere packaging so the modification of atmosphere involves as you have you can see in this picture there is the fresh produce in the earlier class we studied that uh, they consume oxygen give out uh, carbon dioxide give out uh, water and this is the aerobic respiration so the fruits or vegetables or other products they are packaged in some sort of you can say semi permeable membrane and this semi permeable means that is this allows a control in and out or control permeation of the gases that carbon dioxide oxygen and water vapor and with this having a packaging material of suitable characteristics the modified atmosphere packages etc are formed so lowering the oxygen density as you have seen in the earlier slides that is maybe up to 5% it restricts the vegetables respiration it creates a state of hibernation and maintains the freshness of the fresh produce or of the fruits or vegetables and it is as i told you earlier it is very important that to maintain freshness package must have a specific oxygen permeability balanced with the vegetables respiration rate so the atmosphere or gaseous composition inside the package or inside the storage facility can be modified in two different ways that is it may be active modification or it may be passive modification active modification involves the modification of atmosphere by creating a slight vacuum little or more vacuum depending upon the type of the food being packaged or depending upon the various processes respiration or oxidation processes which are likely to spoil the food okay so it might be creation of slight vacuum or it may also be modified by replacing the package atmosphere atmosphere inside the package with the desired gas mixture and various as i told you depending upon the whether we are going for active modification or passive modification or type of the food materials uh, that is a different uh, absorbers or emitted emitters or like uh, oxygen absorbers co2 absorbers ethylene absorbers etc are used active modification is done by putting calculated amount of absorbers maybe oxygen absorbers or carbon dioxide absorbers ethylene absorbers etc which help in maintaining the the atmosphere or concentration of these gases inside the package iron compounds such as feo fe2o3 or fe3o4 are used as active oxygen absorbents lime may be freshly hydrated high calcium lime like calcium hydroxide or activated charcoal magnesium oxide etc are used or co2 absorber and ethylene absorbers or potassium permanganate builders clay powder hydrocarbons silicons and so on 
So, while in the active modification case we create conditions are we that is by putting these absorbers are emitters, emitters the passive modification is achieved by respiration it is a natural process you can say the, so the respiration plays a major role in creating the desired atmosphere so the respiration of the commodity within the package uh, and it depends on the characteristics of the commodity and the package fill packaging films and that is very obvious that is uh, what is the permeability of the packaging material and what is the characteristics of the food product that is it is like fruit or vegetable whether it is climatic in nature or non climatic in nature and that I will show you in the next slide that is how that is fast or slow is the active and passive modification. So, in the case of passive modification obviously depending upon the type of the food material depending upon the characteristics of the packaging film a little quicker or later a steady state equilibrium is achieved and when this equilibrium is achieved that is when oxygen consumption equals to the oxygen diffusion into the package and CO2 production equals to the CO2 diffusion out of the package. So, it is very important that the packaging material they should be selected in such a way that it should its permeability should be befitting it should have required permeability to respect to gases to allow a quick achievement of this equilibrium and the commodity will be safe till this equilibrium is maintained. In this figure you can see that uh, relative changes in oxygen and carbon dioxide concentrations during passive modification and during active modification on the x axis days after packing is shown and in the y axis it is the rate of the change of oxygen or carbon dioxide because of respiration that is oxygen uptake or carbon dioxide release rate. So, you can see here in the case of passive modification that is these rates are little slow and it takes a little more time to achieve to the desired that is a O2 and CO2 concentration that is which is required to be maintained to have the minimum uh, respiration rate or where this uh, O2 consumption and CO2 production that is the equilibrium that is, is maintained. And even after the this equilibrium that is there is because it is the natural phenomena the process is based on natural respiratory behavior the concentration maintenance of concentration of O2 and CO2 you can see depending upon the conditions inside the storage environment etcetera it can be little uh, there might be little fluctuations, but that is very important that these fluctuations should be as low as possible. But in the case of active modification where that is these uh, external agencies are used to maintain the environment can see that oxygen as well as carbon dioxide required concentrations of these gases is quickly obtained and also the maintenance of these gases concentration is that is almost it there it is a straight line showing. So, maintenance is also good. So, that is the you can say major difference between active and passive. Now, regarding the methods of modified atmosphere packaging as I have told you that is whether it is a respiring commodity or it is other commodity where the spoilage of the food might be because of the chemical oxidation etcetera. So, depending upon the characteristics of the food depending upon the other that is the changes which may likely to take place in the material and uh, resulting its uh, spoilage we can use different uh, packaging methods and the vacuum packaging is particularly more suitable 
where for those products process products etc where that is spoilage is likely to be more due to oxidation etc that is the oxygen right of course it may be beneficial for respiring materials also because the oxygen can be lowered down selectively but for the vacuum packaging means that is the oxygen or air particularly oxygen is mechanically removed from the package before it is sealed whereas the second method flushing with gases in this process air inside the packet is replaced with either inert gas like nitrogen or mixture of gases may be nitrogen carbon dioxide etc before packaging and sealing in the barrier materials and as i already told you earlier that the main gases used in the map include oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide and these three gases are used in different combinations according to the product and the needs of the manufacturer or the consumers and the choice of a particular combination is influenced by ongoing biological or chemical processes in the food materials even sensitivity of the food material to these gases and finally the stability of the food components like color stability or flavor stability and other such requirements the effectiveness of the gas is influenced by various factors such as original and final concentrations of the gases that is maintained inside the package stage of maturity of the commodity the type of the product being packaged water activity of the food material ongoing biological processes inside the food storage temperature partial pressure of carbon dioxide bacterial population acidity of the material and so on so all these need to be considered while selecting the either suitable packaging materials or the methodology for of are suitable packaging technology method for packaging the food the obviously the considerations for map of fruits and vegetables you know that is during storage during handling that is the fruits and vegetable they are actively respiring i told you earlier that so the biological agents like enzymes are the major culprits which bring about textural changes or cause softening of fruits and vegetables texture and here that is the you know pectin esterase polygalacturonase pectin methyl esterase etc are the enzyme which play in major roles because the pectins are they provide they are the structural material they provide texture to the fruit and vegetables so during after the in the post harvest process once the fruit or vegetable plucked from the tree then if the uh, atmosphere in which they are handled they are kept if it suits or it is suitable for the activity of these enzymes then these enzyme will act on the pectin and such other component they may hydrolyze it they may remove the calcium from the pectin molecules etc or such other changes may take place and which ultimately it may cause the change of uh, that is the insoluble form of pectin into soluble form of pectin or many other changes and which finally ultimately results into the softening of the texture or even other changes in the material and the respiration rate can be reduced by decreasing the concentration of oxygen around the fresh produce so again these are the that is your packaging material the gaseous composition inside the package it should be effective enough to control the activity of the enzymes as well as they should be effective to control the ethylene production effective in controlling the ethylene production because the ethylene is the uh, ripening hormone 
so the blockage of the synthesis of ethylene will also control the activity of these enzymes and therefore ripening process of the fruit is delayed or textural changes in the vegetables etcetera is delayed and its self life is extended. So, the CO2 in fact sometime also has antibacterial effect and oxygen that is a, a reduced uh, oxygen concentration in the head space of the package it may lead to the reduction in the oxidation or chemical oxidation processes etcetera also and sometimes in the sub materials like coffee powder etcetera even is low very very low concentration of the oxygen inside the packet also is deteriorate because when we use uh, that uh, uh, mechanical means of uh, uh, oxygen removal or vacuum creation depending upon the efficiency of the machine etcetera sometime complete exclusion may not be available. So, in such cases nitrogen flushing is used by nitrogen flushing oxygen is uh, removed and this is replaced by a, an inert gas nitrogen and equilibrium for the atmospheric pressure equilibrium of the atmospheric pressure is maintained. So, having uh, known these uh, processes let us now see what are the systems for gas packaging and in fact this uh, uh, developments whatever the developments we have seen in the modified atmosphere packaging or such other methods of the packaging of the fruits active packaging etcetera. This has been made possible because of the development of FFS machines that is the farm fill and seal machines and now variety different types of farm fill and seal machines are available which can allow packaging of food or making the packages of different shape, different sizes of different forms having different characteristics and so on. So, this has really facilitated to great extent in this technology. So, the major systems of gas packaging include horizontal FFS machines or rigid and semi rigid packages which are so called deep draw machines. They are suitable for the retail packaging of products like meat, poultry, fish, cooked meat, bakery products, cheese and nuts etcetera. Horizontal and vertical FFS machines for flexible pillow pack pouches are the so called flow pack machines. They these kind of systems are mainly suitable for the retail packaging of bakery products, snack foods, coffee, cheese, nuts, meats, fish, salads and fruits. Because even meat products or such other products that is the, the lipid oxidation that is the chemical oxidation of these materials in are of major concern. So, by using by manipulating this that is oxygen concentration the chemical oxidation processes are also controlled. The vacuum chamber machines these type of systems are suitable for both retail as well as catering packaging of uh, meat, fish, nuts, prepared meals and so on. Gamella packaging systems can be used for packaging of uh, meat, poultry, fish, cooked meat, fruits and vegetables, salads and ready meals etcetera. The fiber alarm system can be applied to pack meat, poultry, fruits, vegetables, bakery products, salad and ready meals etcetera. Also the bag in carton systems are available which can be used for making consumer size packs of dry powders and granules like coffee, tea, dried potato powder, bag in box systems can be used for the preparation of uh, the materials different food materials and these systems have the advanced advantage that a 
conventional unit pipe can be produced first and then gas can be flushed. Walk event system can be applied to pipe raw meat, chicken and fish etcetera. So, in the, there are different types of farm fill and seal machines which can be used for making these mini modified atmosphere packages. Generally, the films which are suitable or which can be used for making MAPs for different food materials are polymeric films like LDP, SDP, PP, OPP, metallized polyester, PVC, both perforated, micro perforated or non perforated having less permeability, having more permeability all the things depending upon the material etc. they are used. Similarly, edible films like biopolymers, emulsions, laminates etc. can also be used for modified atmosphere packaging of different materials. A smart packaging materials, smart packaging films like temperature responsive films, the films coated with the scavengers or emitters, the packet containing the polymeric material containing ethylene absorbers, oxygen uh, absorbers, carbon dioxide absorbers etcetera like you can say functional uh, films that are there are many such films available in the market using they are prepared using nanotechnology or such other methods. So, they can be used even the functional film which are made antimicrobial that is the some antimicrobial substances niacin etcetera they can be coated in the um, packaging material. So, when these uh, pack food materials are uh, packed in such type of uh, packages or polymers then this it uh, causes the surface surface sterilization of the food etcetera and its self life. So, wasabi based polymers etcetera are example of this. As far as the requirements of the packaging materials are concerned very important that the material should be sealable and not only sealable that is it should be easily sealed, but its integrity of the seal, it should be able to maintain the integrity of the seal of the package during uh, storage, during handling or when the packet is put to the different stress conditions. The because if uh, this seal is not proper, if there is some leakage etcetera, it will uh, disturb the atmosphere inside the package. Similarly, the type of the package that is the type of the package to be used, what is the nature of the packaging pa packet to be made that is the is consumer pack, retail pack or all those things that is rigid or semi rigid, leaded tray or flexible film pouch that also taken should be taken into consideration while choosing a packaging material. Another important property is the fogging the packaging material should be of such nature that the it should at least prevent it should not promote or it should not allow the condensation of the moisture inside the packet. Because if the moisture inside the packet condense, so it adversely affects the visibility of the product inside the package and which is not desirable. So, the packaging material like polythene in the packaging laminates etcetera, they can be especially treated to prevent condensation of water. So, as to improve the visibility because this is considered an important particularly if it is a consumer pack. So, the consumers like the food material which is inside the packet it visible so that they can visualize the quality of the or freshness of the food before its purchase. Similarly, microwavability of the packaging material is another important consideration particularly for the packaging of ready to eat food products. So, the it is better that if the poly for such food products the polymeric material or packaging material which is selected it is of such in nature that 
the packet can be directly put into inside the microwave oven. Then other important considerations include biodegradability and recyclability that is important that is the packaging material should be easily degradable because that is uh, and it should be recyclable or that is the one even plastic films etcetera are creating the major havoc to the environmental problem. So, the packaging material the material to be used or polymer to be used for the, it should be biodegradable, it should be easily recyclable or it should be easily compostable it can be easily destroyed and of course, the other important characteristics should is that the mechanical properties it is strength it is modulus stiffness etcetera should be that is uh, the desired it should be it should not be very much different from those of the conventional polymers. So, the functional polymers or polymers to be used for modified atmosphere packaging, they should have proper or uh, uh, required mechanical properties or strength etcetera. So, the um, modified atmosphere packaging have the ad several advantages like uh, it results in the increased self life and reduction in retail waste, it improves uh, the product quality improved and better presentation of the product for clear visibility of the product inside the package, hygienic stack wise pack sealed and free from product drip and odor. It uh, results into little wastage or th there is no requirement of chemical preservative etcetera inside this package. It can it result into increased distribution area and reduced transportation cost due to less frequent deliverables or deliveries. Reduction in the production and storage costs are there due to better utilization of labor, space and equipment. But at the same time there are certain drawbacks or in other words you can say the challenges in the modified atmosphere packaging technology which need to be resolved that the cost it should not be class clear that is so the cost of the gaseous packaging machinery maintenance of the gaseous environment inside the packet as well as the packaging material cost all these things should be kept to the minimum at present it is comparatively on higher side even the cost of the instrumentation analytical instrument to measure the gaseous composition etcetera should be should not be a issue it is it should be maintained that to in order to facilitate the use of this technology such facilities that is instrumentation etcetera should be made easily available. Then cost of quality assurance systems to prevent distribution of leakers that is very important that is the, the packet should not be leaking because if the packet is a leak leaker then inside uh, atmosphere will uh, composition of gases will not be maintained and the material will spoil quickly. Then the in fact as I told you benefits of MAP are last once the pack is opened or if it leaks. So, overall we can conclude by saying that modified atmosphere packaging is a very effective technology for the packaging of fresh produces particularly for extending the shelf life of fruits and vegetables whether whole or cut fruits and vegetables. It is useful for both for extending the shelf life as well as for maintaining the quality of the produce. So, however, the MAP that is the hurdle technology concept can be applied in this it has a big potential that is application of other preservation techniques in combination with modified atmosphere packaging is an interesting area of research and development and work should be done in these regards. So, as to increase the benefit or advantage of this technology uh, to the 
consumer and well as to the processors thank you very much